welcome to my channel. My name is Kim, registered nurse, certified fitness specialist, marketing strategist, and most important job, new mom. Welcome kind of back, kind of just to my channel. It's been a long time since I've tried to do this YouTube stuff, but we're here and we're doing it and we're going to have fun with it. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about what you need to do to get set up going into a diet or a weight loss phase because I think what most people do is they say I'm going to start on Monday and I think we've all done that before whether it's I'm going to start eating healthier, I'm going to start working out, I'm going to lose weight, I'm going on this new diet plan. We always say we're going to start Monday and we don't do anything besides say we're going to start on Monday and then we just expect to wake up Monday morning and be this whole new person who's ready to make all these fabulous changes which is great in theory but it doesn't usually work well that way because not much has changed from the person you were on Sunday night to the person you are on Monday morning and eventually that fresh motivation and everything wanes and you fall off the wagon and I'm sure we've all done it I know I have I've done it a lot this year actually that's why I'm here today I'm getting set because tomorrow Monday May 17th gosh it's already May of 2021 I am starting a six-week summer fitness challenge um, I'm doing this with my husband Kyle so you'll see him probably in some of these videos and hopefully we can get a little bit leaned out for summertime so let's jump in and talk about everything that you need to do before you start your next diet or weight loss or new program to be successful. All right, so the very first thing that you need to do before Monday morning rolls around and you start this new diet is you need to commit. So for me, that looks like I'm signing up for this challenge, which we are about to officially do. I'm gonna make sure that you watch me so that everybody knows I've actually done it. But something, signing up for a challenge, um, joining a Facebook group where people are doing this together, telling somebody, just telling a friend or your husband or your partner or whoever, making sure that you've saying it out loud and you're committing to that goal. That's gonna be the very first thing that you need to do because that makes it real. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna sign up. Okay, so the second thing that you need to do is take some progress photos or take your weight, take your measurements, get your starting point so that you've got something to work from. For me, that was taking progress pictures. I don't usually use the scale too much anymore. Um, and progress pictures are just a great way to see the small changes that you can't normally see and they keep you motivated. So every week, I'm gonna be taking progress pictures and comparing them to the week before and that's how I'm gonna measure my changes. So you want to find your starting point, like I said, write it down, take pictures, do whatever you need to do, but find that starting point so that you've got something to work from. All right, the third thing that you need to do to make sure that you're successful is plan it out. Everything from your diet to your workouts to anything else you're gonna add in to be, to make the changes that you wanna make. So when it comes to your diet, what diet are you gonna do? Are you gonna do keto? Are you gonna cut your macros? Are you just gonna eat healthier? You want to think that through now. You don't wanna just kinda wake up and say, all right, I'm gonna wing it and eat whatever I've got. So what's gonna work for you? What have you tried in the past? What made you feel good? What didn't work for you? And figure out kind of where you're gonna go with your diet. For me, I'm going to lightly count my macros just to make sure I'm eating enough. Um, I am nursing our child, so that is important to me to make sure that I'm still eating enough and not cutting out too many calories. Um, but essentially, it's gonna be just eating cleaner. I'm gonna focus all my meals around protein and some vegetables and then fill in the rest from there. And that's kind of the diet I'm going with. I do have an app, so that's another part. Download an app if you need my fitness pal or my macros plus. There's a whole bunch of free apps you can use. So whatever kind of app or tracker that you need, you wanna go ahead and download that now ahead of time. Um, and then what kind of other things are you gonna to commit to? So is it important to you to drink a certain amount of water every day? Are you gonna not drink Diet Coke during your challenge or whatever you're doing um set out your plan ahead of time now that also goes into play for your workouts so what is your workouts going to look like am i going to work out every single day truthfully probably not so i'm going to set out that i want to work out x y and z these are the types of workouts i want to do this is how long they're going to be and i'm going to make it realistic to my life i'm going to have that plan ready i'm going to know what workouts i'm doing 
since I'm doing this challenge that I'm signing up for, the workouts actually come with that. Now, I won't be able to do them all because I will not be working out seven days a week like they suggest. So I'm gonna just have to pick and choose and make sure that I go into every day and every week ready to know which workouts I need to do for that week. Um, and then the other thing is anything else you want to add in. So a lot of times when you're making a big change, you feel motivated to make changes in other areas of your life. So re people want to start reading books or making their bed every morning. Some other small thing that keeps you accountable and something that you can usually start your day with so that it keeps that motivation going for the rest of the day. So making your bed every single morning is one of the best habits that you can add in aside from your diet and your workout that's gonna help you to be successful because it's something that you have to do first thing in the morning and it's something you can accomplish first thing in the morning and that sets the bar high, it gets you rolling for the rest of the day. So making my bed in the morning and then for me is gonna be keeping up with my YouTube channel and with all of you guys. Those are kind of my extras, my two things I'm adding in. Okay, so then the fourth thing that you need to do is you need to prepare. You've got your plan, you've told people you're doing this, you've taken your pictures, you've stepped on the scale, whatever you're doing. Now you actually need to prepare. So what does that look like? Okay, so for my diet, I need to order groceries. I need to get those delivered. I might need to do some meal prep. Um, I might need to look at recipes on Pinterest and pick out what I'm gonna make. And I want everything ready on Sunday so that through the week, there's no way I cannot follow through on that because I already know, I've already got the food. I can't say, oh, I'm gonna run to Kidoba drive through because I don't have any chicken at home. I'm gonna have that chicken, I'm gonna have it ready, I'm gonna have it prepared. So now's the time before you even go ahead and start is to get everything ready. So for your diet, that's getting groceries, meal prepping, picking out your recipes, making sure that your macros are calculated ahead of time if you're doing macros, everything that you need, have your water bottle ready, all of that stuff, Sunday night needs to be ready. For your workouts, that's making sure you got a good pair of sneakers that fits. Do you have workout clothes? Do you have a gym membership? Do you know what the workouts are and have all the equipment that you need if you're gonna be doing them at home? So making sure that everything is ready to go. It's like when you're a little kid and you put out your clothes before school the next day so that you didn't forget a sock or something like that. You need to be prepared and ready to go. So plan it out and then the next step is prepare everything. So all you have to do is go through the motions. You don't even have to think about getting anything ready. Okay, and tip number five is take the time and have a treat meal before you get started. We're heading out, we're gonna go right now and treat ourselves to Mexican and a margarita. Doesn't mean that we won't have this again during our cut period, but it's just like a fun thing. Know that hard work's coming tomorrow and we gotta be a little bit cleaner with our diets, so we're gonna, it's not a last meal, but it's just like a fun meal to prepare yourself. So do that, get yourself ready, get what you want done, done. Get everything ready for the next day and remember that throughout this journey you still need to relax and just enjoy it and make sure it can be a part of your lifestyle so you're still going to be able to go out to eat you're still going to do all the stuff but you're going to have to make some sacrifices you're going to have to order different things maybe go out less all those types of things so that you can fit it in and it can be a part of your life and it doesn't end after that six weeks it needs to be enjoyable even though it's going to be hard does that make sense Am I being too optimistic? It's going to be hard, but you can still eat what you want to eat sometimes. But anyway, take a minute. Go have a fun meal before you get down to work tomorrow morning. Hope that helped. Those are my five tips. We're going to recap them right now and come back next week and we'll do this again. All right, so let's go back through those five steps so that you're ready to go tomorrow morning with me. One, commit. Two, get your starting point, your progress pictures. Three, plan it out. Four, prepare everything. And five, remember to relax and have fun with it.